Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Guns R Us. So guys, um, I did a review already on this gun and uh, for some reason the the video accident, by accident I deleted and uh, I lost all the shooting that I have. Some of you guys had the chance to see it and uh, start messing with it and delete it. Short story is that I delete all the videos that I have on my phone to record to make space to record more um, videos um, to upload, be able to upload and have some space for the videos. And I lost all the shooting except for one. So I'm gonna be uploading that one on the on this video. So, um, well, moving on guys. So I just wanna show you guys um, a quick update uh, on the shotgun, the SDS Lynx 12. 12 gauge uh, semi-automatic uh, shotgun, Saiga AK-47 uh, style. So <clears throat> in the first video I have put out if um, this gun, you know, this servant, I was gonna do some upgrades in the gun, nothing major, you know, but you know, some nice, something nice to make it look better and uh, actually uh, work better. So I did, uh, I did uh, the the boss dock. It's from a uh, Macpool. It's a foldable and adjustable boss dock. It's new, so it's a little stiff. Well, maybe I, I don't know what I'm doing. There you go. There you go. I have some uh, Macpool grip too. I also I have polished all the uh, all the bolt inside uh, on the bottom. And all around, it's been polished and uh, sanded, and all the all the corners been rounded. Also, I I, I, I did a, a little bit of uh, kind of like a ramp, uh, so the round have more uh, goes more easy into the chamber, and uh, it works really nice. Um, also, I have a quad rail too. Uh, so this one comes with two rails in the top, one uh, the short one and the long one so i decided to go to the short i mean this one you know you see it goes all the way to here well actually over there so you can put some flip flip up sides and uh or whatever size you want to in the top <laughs> and the red dot side ankle witness but since i have the um item sides and this uh this rail this pacatina rail is elevated over the the side, so you can get a, a nice a nice uh, side picture. Let me see if I can get it for you guys. Uh, you guys are able to see it right there. There you go. And uh, bam, I forgot. I forgot to clear the weapon for you guys, even if I did it before the video. But the weapon is clear. We're safe. So um, what else I did? I put a um, foregrip from my pull too. What else? I'm gonna be putting a muscle break, but uh, I haven't decided which one I'm, go I'm gonna go with. And um, this one, this is for the look. This is what's from my CC uh, uh, Scorpion. So, well, that's about it. That's about it. So I took the gun to the range, and uh, some of you guys saw, because I, I upload the video for a couple of minutes, so some of you guys saw the video and I did a lot of shooting on the, on the shotgun and uh, I didn't have a single hiccup on the shotgun with fitting or anything, anything. So it works very reliable. I put some uh, bird shots, double O shots, uh, the federal uh, slugs mixed with double O uh, shots and uh, also run slots too, and uh, nothing. I mean, uh, I did some fast fire, slow fire. Man, I put everything through this shotgun, and uh, it was working super reliable. So, um, like I said, she deserved all the upgrades. I have a uh, 83 tactical uh, sight, uh, red dot sight. I got this one from my other shotgun from my uh, Remington i 70 I will be buying the same one for for the other shotgun since this one is like 75 bucks and it's a uh, it is a very reliable uh whole zero pretty pretty good and uh 
I've been shooting shotgun. I mean, uh, shotgun shells, 12 gauge with this uh, little side, and uh, it's been taking the bit. Okay, so it passed the proof, so I'm gonna leave it there. So like I say, um, I can go with the long one, but uh, I put the, 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 the gun against the wall and with the weight fell on the top of the, uh, right here and bend it a little bit here. So I came out with, uh, I did some thread and I uh, put, so, put two screws here, just in case you guys wanna get the same, put two screws here. So um, I just, you know, level the screw with the um, with the dust cover. So if the gun falls, it's not gonna bend because it's adjusted in the top of the freaking uh, dust cover. But I don't need that long, this long. I mean, I wanna be, um, I can still take it off the, um, I can still be able to take off the, the dust cover with this one but i don't need that rail running over I'm, I'm i'm comfortable with this one you know i want to be uh able to take this off and see everything you know clean it up really good and uh also it's less weight too so i'm comfortable i'm comfortable with it so um i got this max here uh it says something about q usa you know i got it in my in my um uh, in my uh, my gun shop, I just buy it, bought it randomly, and it's working pretty good. Um, also, I bought this one online. It's uh, it's from SDS, the same company of the shotgun, and it's a clear magazine. You guys can see. You can. It's, uh, I put some double O box shots uh, with the clear shells, so you can. You guys can see through. It looks pretty cool. Um, man, let me show you how this. Uh, it's a little difficult to put it if you don't if you don't chamber um you don't pull the bolt to the rear but i don't want to load it right now so let's do it this way you gotta apply a little pressure man there you go jesus that was hard but it's, it's easy um if you pull the bolt to the rear and lock it with this button right here and uh, let it go forward, you get one round the chamber, then put the safety and, uh, you know, that's a home defense. But I don't want to do that, you know, I don't want to do that. It's uh, I don't want to have the gun next to the bed loaded because uh, my granddaughter is around. So <clears throat> there you go, guys. This is how it looks like, you know, just a quick update on uh, how everything looks. I'm gonna be uh, posting a, a short clip uh, of the range, just one 12 magazine. That's all I couldn't save, but you know, you guys are gonna be able, you guys, uh, all I have is my word. And if some of you guys saw the video <laughs> that got deleted, can back me up. I would appreciate it. <laughs> there you go. It looks pretty nice, you know, little uh, foldable stock. Damn, this thing is stiff. This thing is stiff. Oh, anyway, there you go. Maybe a little bit of oil or something. It's, it's, it's new. So I'm going to be buying a, a new um, pad for the um, the Buster because that pad is like, the rubber is like plastic. It's hard. And uh, hell no. So there you go. That's all I have for you guys, you know. Um, man, uh, if you guys are on the side in buying this thing or not, buy it. Buy it, I've seen plenty of reviews online. It's better reliable and uh, I tested uh, myself and uh, I mean, it is nice, it's nice, you know. It has the same uh, platform as the AK-47. It's like an AK-47 <laughs> shooting freaking uh, 12 gauge shot, shot, I mean, a chuck and chill. So each, each shot is like nine, nine, nine times nine millimeter round. So one, one round will hit you nine times. Man, you can't, you can't beat that up. All right, so it's a really nice, you know, third review. 
I'm not probably not gonna do anything else to the gun. You know, maybe some uh, I do it myself, uh, some Duracoat on uh, I haven't decided what color yet, but I'm not gonna come with something uh, very bright, something uh, dark that match uh, the furniture. So let's see, let's see. Um, probably like a dark gray or or black again, but. Uh, this paint, I don't like this paint. That I don't like it. So probably gonna be painted, gonna paint it. But um, yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Um, I hope you guys like it. You know, um, little uh, Saiga replica, AK-47 uh, stylish uh, shotgun. So I'll see you guys on the next video. And uh, like I say, after this, uh, I'm gonna be posting the the um, so stay there and watch the video. All right, guys, have a good day and uh, stay safe out there. Please subscribe, all right. Support uh, the Second Amendment. Do the same that I do with you guys, all right. Every time I see a young man or somebody uh, making videos, hey, they taking their time, you know what I mean, to show you guys or show me uh, their guns or their shooting or whatever they um sharing with me on you guys so um i pay back subscribing to the channel you know i mean it's unlimited so i subscribe to everybody i don't care as long as i support the second amendment i'm good to go so um see you guys in the next one